Hey, what is up, Music Maker fam? I hope everything is going good with you today. Stratton here from Strategic Audio, back with a new video. And in this video today, I'm going to be making a brand new soulful sample, or perhaps beat, from scratch. I just felt like creating and showing you a bit of the process. Now, if you enjoy this type of video, and maybe you're a fan of this genre of music, Please, if you can, subscribe to the channel and drop a like down below because I do quite a bit of stuff like this. Also, if you do like this style of sample, this genre of music, um, the first link in the description will take you to a free loop kit. It's called Rail Connections. It's eight samples with stems, all in this style, in this genre. Each one is original, each one is unique, each one has that classic retro vintage soul flavor. Now let's get to work. I always like to start with the piano so let me jump on the MIDI controller and put down this idea that I have, it's going to be in C minor, which for some reason is my favorite scale to play. Now you could easily click in these chords and the embedded melody, but my advice to anyone who wants to make samples is to develop a basic working knowledge of music theory and competent enough skills to play simple stuff like this. Next up, I think I want to add a really simple bass groove. I'll probably use a mixture of short notes and some sustained notes to give it a bit of bounce and a sense of push and pull. So to give the bass a little extra thickness, I ran it through this free app from Blue Cats. It's really for guitars, but you can adjust the settings to suit the bass sound that you have according to what it is you want to hear. Okay, I'm liking what we have so far. Let's move on now to, I think I'm gonna do a string section. I often like to play my strings using um, either the fifth notes or the seventh notes of the main chord progression. I, I just find I prefer the sense of harmony it creates. It just honestly seems to blend very well, better than sometimes, most of the time for me, better than using the root note. All right, so next, I think I want to add a bell sound, so maybe a glockenspiel. So, as you can hear and see, I basically just follow the little piano melody that I played as part of the main chord progression. So, nothing fancy or complicated. Generally, you want all of your melodies to complement each other as opposed to clashing. So now I'm thinking I'm going to add an organ that simply plays the main chords to add some weight and support to the piano. And this is a tip or a hack if you want to call it that. Layering your melodies and your chord progressions is a great way to give your music uh, fullness without cluttering it with competing or clashing melodies. So for what will likely be the final melodic layer, I want to add a vocal part. I made this preset in Augmented Voices by Arturia and I think it goes great with this style, with this genre of music. Again, this will follow the main chords, probably not every single note exactly, but enough to create what I think will be a nice harmony, at least the way I'm hearing it in my head. Okay, so all that's left really to do now, or all that I'm going to do now, is final edits, tweaks, mix, master, make it sound nice and big, 
and I'll play the full sample with some drums. I'm going to add drums to give you an example of what can be done with samples like this. And then maybe, you know, you can get your own ideas and be inspired to flip it differently or um, do different types of drums. guys thanks so much thanks so much let me say it a third time thanks so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end you're a boss in my opinion be sure to like and subscribe and here's a quick reminder if you enjoy this style of music and you like chopping samples which obviously means you're a producer beat maker but you get it if you love chopping samples grab the free loop kit first link in the description below it's called real connections um so far i've had a lot of a lot of downloads and uh, i'm i'm pretty sure people are enjoying the music or enjoying chopping the samples i think i'm gonna grab a few and make some beats with them myself um later on today but once again thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video